assalamu alaikum dear students how are you today we are to start the chapter number 5 there is about magic show dear students in this chapter you will learn about different slat of hands are dexterity of hand of a magician who perform his magic tricks very skillfully in front of the students so you gonna have a really interesting chapter today you must be familiar with magic shows as you live in an era when you have easy access to internet okay social media youtube etc and etc so you definitely would have witness to different magic shows first of all i am going to explain what do you know about magic show i'm going to define i'm going to uh, okay elaborate magic show magic is the art of performing tricks to make the impossible seem possible so it is all about tricks right magicians amaze audiences by appearing to make objects disappear read minds or float off the ground okay blah blah and blah like that who are the magicians magicians are the persons who perform their tricks who are expert who who perform magic actually so magicians amaze audiences by okay appearing to make objects disappear it seems that objects are getting disappeared okay it seems that they can read your minds okay it also seems that okay things float off the ground okay but for thousands of years people believed that magicians actually had special powers okay they had special peculiar tricks they thought magicians could control other people and natural forces such as the rain or the wind this is what the people suppose what the people thought about magician okay they thought them as a supernatural force okay who can control over natural phenomenon like wind rain okay flood right lightning right etc and etc but it is not okay they are not supernatural beings they are rather common just like us just like you common people okay but owing to have special ability to camouflage okay to trick people right uh, people actually uh, have this misconception about magician right Mm, I should say, I should I say more about that? People thought to have magical powers were also known as witches, wizards, and 
sorcerers. Hmm. Today, most magic tricks involve sleight of hand. Okay, rather it is actually uh, sleight of hand means dexterity, experty. Okay, uh, in showing tricks, that is what we call sleight of hand. Today, most magic tricks involve sleight of hand. S L E I G H T sleight trick dexterity. This is the ability to move objects. What is it? What is sleight of hand? Sleight of hand is the ability to move objects, right? Such as cards, right? Or coins quickly and secretly. The secrets to many magic tricks are written down in the books that everyone can read. It may take weeks or months to learn a trick though. Okay, this is it. If you are intended, if you are okay interested in learning magic shows, there are thousands of books related to magic. Okay, go for them. It will take weeks or months, okay, to learn about. Right? And then practice. So many magicians also call illusionists. <laughs> illusionists carefully guard the secrets to their tricks. That is what we call illusionists. Okay. Okay. What we see while okay uh, witnessing or seeing to uh, magical shows. Okay. Are not actually happening over there. It is just a carefully guarded secrets. Okay? And magicians are the experts who keep us okay in illusion. Right? And we think that okay it is actually going on over there. It is not. It is just okay dexterity of hand okay experty of okay their tricks they just camouflage us okay to misinterpret things okay one of the most famous magician was Harry Houdini okay I like this person uh, Harry Houdini you go and google it to YouTube okay you go to YouTube uh, um, and search for this person Harry Houdini you may have lots of videos okay uh, of magic shows by this person he was known for his amazing escapes from handcuffs and okay straight jackets in the early 90s okay there are other magicians like David Blaine okay Penn and Teller and what should I say more about uh, the magicians okay David Copperfield and Doc Henny these are the famous magicians okay and you must you sh would also okay uh, uh, have a know to uh, magicians in your locality okay it is not necessary mandatory uh, to okay know the magicians okay from abroad okay there are magicians in your locality and you would have okay surely have witnessed those playing different tricks like that okay dear students here comes the chapter okay there is another question who is a magician a magician is someone who will entertain an audience by performing magic tricks effects or illusions okay these tricks and illusions seem impossible or supernatural to the audience not it is not supernatural actually right the magician learns these things tricks by no, no the magician learns these magic tricks by practicing them over and over again sometimes taking hundreds of hours to perfect right so the magicians are uh, the
the ones who play magic right dear students here comes the first paragraph okay just let's begin reading it is a fine friday morning fine means it is a cool it is an okay friday morning all the students are very excited as the principal of the school has arranged for a magic show okay all the students were uh, excited were thrilled were happy were pleased okay were uh, walked out walked out okay were was emotional why because the principal of the school has staged okay a magic show okay they are going to have a mega a huge magic show over there in their school right and they were intimated uh, probably they were intimated about that show we are anxiously waiting for the magician they were okay eagerly we are okay we will go with the sentence we are anxiously waiting for the magician they are eagerly impatiently okay waiting for the magician suddenly the door opens and a strange looking man enters okay by the very next moment okay the door abruptly opens suddenly open in no time the door opens in a strange looking in a peculiar looking strange means queer q u double e r queer unfamiliar out of okay usual the man looks out of usual is the other people okay uh, strange unfamiliar queer peculiar looking man in terms he is wearing a long black coat a hat and is holding a stick in his hand okay he looks strange because he is uh, wearing he is putting on a long black coat uh in a hat okay in a hat like this in a hat right and holding okay a stick in his hand and he, there was a stick there is a stick in his hand look he is the magician he is here to amuse the school children with his magic tricks okay this strange looking man is the magician who is to entertain amuse means entertain right please to happy to please okay to entertain he is to entertain the school children with his magic okay tricks right there is a big wooden box no starts okay different tricks there is a big wooden box wooden box okay let me show you this is uh, okay no i should go back this okay this is wooden this is a wooden box right what happens there is a big wooden box with a lid on it lid means okay let means k hat cover okay cover hinge h i n g e hinge okay there was a hinge over it he takes off the lid he takes off the he removes takes off means removes the lid in full view of the school in front of the audience he removes the okay lid the helper of the magician gets into the box okay what happens next the helper he has a helper okay so he gets into the box he enters into the box he goes into the box 
the lid is put on the box and it is closed again okay the box is hinged and closed again okay the box is covered okay once the magician's helper gets into the box the lid of the, the cover of the box okay right put on and it is closed again the magician has a saw in his hand saw means a blade for cutting blade b l a d e blade for cutting okay so the magician has a saw in his hand a blade in his hand he cuts the wooden box in the middle or middle with the saw what the, okay he, okay uh, what comes next he cuts the wooden box okay in the middle with the blade like that okay he is cutting okay there is his helper into the box the lid is okay uh, the lid is covered the box is closed and he is cutting okay the box from the middle in the middle with his saw this is saw okay blade right guys are you getting the points okay the box is cut into two pieces Whoa. okay it is cut into two pieces the helper is in the box the lid is removed okay the lid is the cover is removed the box is okay uh, gotten uncovered lo and behold okay this is sign of exclamation okay this show exclamation exclamation means certain emotions feelings okay sentiments lo and behold this this phrase is an interjection okay this belongs to the interjection okay of the parts of speech are word classes okay and lo and behold means it is an expression used to show surprise or wonder lo and behold lo look at the helper is safe and sound okay he is completely safe and sound the helper gets out of the box okay the whole school cheers the magician on his clever trick okay the whole school applauds the magician on his okay clever clever trick okay this was the first uh, trick shown by uh, the magician right <coughs> there is a question what do you understand by the phrase lo and behold okay to answer this question this phrase lo and behold is an interjection okay uh, and it is used to express sudden okay surprise or right emotion like that okay look at this paragraph what is the magician doing now let's see okay what he does okay uh, he, uh, the next he is taking the head off his head now he is taking his okay hat hat remove okay he is removing his head from hat from his head he is showing the head is everyone to everyone sorry he is showing okay uh, removing his hat from his head he shows okay uh, his hat to everyone it is absolutely empty and it is completely empty there is nothing okay on his hat there is nothing in it he puts the hat okay uh, on his head he again he again sorry uh, put his hat on his head Okay. he takes it off again then he removes it again <coughs> lo and behold look there is an pigeon sitting on his head okay where nothing right seen before 
okay there was a pigeon sitting on his head everybody cheers everybody applauds okay the students are getting amused okay entertained what is the magician doing now okay let's see he's showing his empty pocket to everybody now he is showing his empty pocket okay to everybody means his pocket is empty he borrows a handkerchief from one of the okay is audience audience right audiences they should be audiences but uh, as far as this word is concerned it is collective so that, that that's fine Okay. He shows his pocket to everybody. He borrows a handkerchief. Handkerchief means hanky or a square piece of cloth used for okay wiping the eyes or nose or as a costume accessory. Okay, it is also called hanky. H A N K E. In Urdu, you can see it as a rumal. Okay, he borrows. Okay, he takes. right uh, he, he borrows borrows mean borrow means uh, he takes simply he lend uh, this is good he lends l e n d s he lends he takes okay uh, handkerchief hanky from one of the audience okay one of the students one of the audience it may be the teachers he puts the handkerchief in his pocket and takes it out again okay what does he do now he puts it into his pocket and takes it out again lo and behold there are handkerchiefs coming out of his pocket one after another everyone cheers the magician okay he puts a handkerchief in his in into his pocket and by the time he takes it out okay there come okay there come so many okay uh, handkerchiefs one after one okay uh, out from his pocket this cheers everyone and everyone over there applauds the magician right okay dear student it's fine and enough for today okay Uh, this chapter will be carried on okay uh, in the next lecture thank you